This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. I'm with Jackson Argus and Brian Hilton Jr. and Unreal. What, what, what the heck? Unreal is a great word to describe us, isn't it? We are unreal. I'd say it's pretty goddamn real. I'd say it's pretty chemically sound. I like that. You speak very well. You remind me of a young R.C. Dupree. But, uh, no, what, what, what's wrong? Is something wrong? Are you upset with what you saw this evening? It, it, it was a little... Harsh, I think. Harsh, I think. I think what's harsh is allowing people to wrestle that do not belong. Absolutely. I, I'd agree with all of that. A guy like Gregory Allen just shows up and he thinks, I'm going to do what your father did. I'm going to be an underdog, a little guy that fights the big guy and fights the big fight. But that's not needed. When you have talent like this, as soon as this all heals up, a guy like this waiting in the wings and a guy like me already fighting, there's no room for guys like Ray Curry Hired. Am I right? There's no room, and it's just a shame I'm sitting on the sidelines commentating his match. And my insides are churning, knowing that someone like me, someone that goes the extra mile, works out six days a week, has NFL athlete genes, and I'm hurt and can't wrestle, so they replace me with, what do you even call him? A guy that doesn't work out six days a week, and the only reason he works out six is because on the seventh day is tape study, right? Right. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You bet your ass it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Jackson, no idea you were going to be here. Nobody knew, and wasn't it the greatest surprise of all time? But what happens is, when a dear friend of mine, when Mr. Pillman sends me a text message and says... I'd like to see you. I miss you. I haven't seen you in a year. The last time we talked, the last time we talked, the conversation was, Jackson, I think I want to follow my father's footsteps. And then I sent a text to Lance Storm. And next thing you know, a little guy went and got himself trained. Now he's a big guy making big Noise. That's exactly what I did, Jackson. You see, I went through the channels. I went and trained with the best trainer on the planet. I didn't go to Japan. I didn't go to Europe. I went to Calgary, Alberta, Canada. If Gregory Iron stepped in that dojo, Lance Storm would have taken one look at him and said, Get the fuck out! He doesn't belong in this business! My father didn't die for this business to let idiots like Gregory Iron into the ring. He paved the way for guys like Jackson Argos. Guys like Myron Reed. Athletes. People that can fight. Wow. Um, so I'm so glad you were able to come visit us up in Cleveland and, and join. I'm glad you are able to get them all worked up. You got them all fired yeah, up. Now. Was, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. You're so okay. what's, what's next? I believe that is what we discuss. Jackson is now my acting enforcer until further notice, until my PCL is healed come October. This man will be doing my dirty work. And we're going to purge this indie scene of every fraud, of every poser, until we've got all the spot monkeys, all the disabled, Oh, look at me. I need I need sympathy. I can't use my left arm. Well, maybe you shouldn't be in the ring if you can't use both your arms, because this is professional wrestling. And the only way you're going to get anywhere is if people lay on their back for you. But listen here. Jackson Argos, Brian Pillman, we will not lay on our backs. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.